I want to go to Cheryl Choden right now. She is in Detroit with uh, Santil Jenkins from Detroit City Council. Uh, what is her reaction tonight, Cheryl? Well, of course, Santil is hearing about it just a short time ago, and she is the council president now. And so I want your reaction. What is going through your mind right now? What are you thinking about this? <laughs> I'm surprised. I have a million different questions. Um, certainly, we've been reading on municipal bankruptcy all along because it's been a part of the conversation. But there are still so many unknowns. And what do you think this means for the people of Detroit? Well, unlike corporate bankruptcies, municipal bankruptcy, the first priority is providing services services to the citizens. So I think that people should understand that, that this won't be about making sure creditors get paid. This will be about finding a way to provide services for citizens. So on the other side of this, Detroit will come through it. We'll be, we'll be okay. But you know that the pensioners, I mean, they are, there are lawsuits filed. These will be on hold now, I understand. Mm -hmm. And I also understand that a bankruptcy judge does have 60 to 90 days to decide whether or not they're going to allow the city to go into bankruptcy. Are you going to be cooperating as a city council body, or do you think you'll be fighting it, or what are your thoughts? Well, we're going to be discussing it. This body never fights. <laughs> <laughs> we're opposing. We're opposing is a better well, word. Well, at this point, because it just happened, I haven't even had a chance to talk to my colleagues. So... We haven't decided as a body what we're going to do. I know the first thing we're going to do is get all of the information. We're going to look at the plan and then figure out how to move forward. Were you surprised at all or you absolutely knew this was coming? No, I did not know this was coming. I, it certainly, as I said, has, it's been a part of the conversation, but I had no idea that this would happen as quickly as it did. And as council president now, you are the president of this legislative body. Will you be speaking to Kevin or, or attempting to, to, to discuss it and sort it out? Yes, absolutely. And, and we spoke for a brief period today, and we will be speaking more tomorrow. So we're, we're all still trying to sort it out. So what is your message for Detroiters and for the firefighters and and for the police officers and for the pensioners. What is your message, Santiel, for them tonight? My message is, is to hold on. I mean, we'll get through this. I think there will probably be shared sacrifices on, on all ends, but we're going to work to get through this with the least amount of pain for everybody and so that on the other side we'll have a better, brighter future for Detroit. And do you feel that in your heart that that's what will happen? Absolutely. It's what gets me out of bed in the morning. Every day. Yeah. Every single day, okay. yes. I so appreciate you joining us, and I'm, we'll be talking to you more, I'm sure, as the days go on. Thank you so much. That's Thank Council you. President Santil Jenkins. Her thoughts when she is basically learning about it, as we are all learning about it, maybe a little bit before, though. I bet you had a little heads up, right? Maybe a little. A little? Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. So that's Santil Jenkins. Other people are coming and talking to, uh, they're stopping at the truck, actually. Some of the mayoral candidates and, and other city workers are stopping. I mean, the word is spreading fast. And everybody wants to know what it means but keeping in mind that a judge does have 60 to 90 days we want to nail that down to decide whether or not even though it's filed that he will allow the city to go into bankruptcy we'll have much more on later editions of action news i'm cheryl choden downtown seven action yeah, news yeah cheryl thanks we'll let you get back to the truck and catch up with those people stopping by to talk and we'll uh, check in with you again soon